this lecture, we will see the different ways to evaluate robustness. In the lecture robustness and ruggedness relation to LCMS method development and validation, we saw different LCMS parameters that influence robustness and ruggedness. We looked at the influence of these parameters to the method and recommended changes in these parameters in order to test the robustness. As a reminder, there was a list of LC parameters, sample and sample preparation parameters, and also make mass spectrometric parameters. Because of the very no large number of potentially variable parameters, it is reasonable to divide assessment of rugged ruggedness into separate parts. A very logical division should be to test ruggedness separately for sample preparation and the LCMS analytical part. Before starting investigation of robustness, it is crucial to find out what are the critical performance characteristics of the method. For example, if limit of quantification is very close to the limit of quantification required by leg legislation, then changes in limit of quantification value have to be monitored against small changes in method parameters. Most influential method parameter for limit of quantification could be mass spectrometric parameters, mobile phase pH, extraction parameters. The main criteria of choosing parameters are firstly how much a given method parameter can influence the critical characteristic and secondly how likely is that this parameter will change un uncontrollably. If those parameters are chosen when we then we, we should use either one of two options to evaluate method robustness and ruggedness. Firstly, to use experimental design, or secondly, to change one variable at the time. This is called one variable at the time approach. In most cases, experiments with one variable at the time approach of the most important par parameters are carried out. The experimental design approaches are very powerful, however, these approaches are seldom used. The main reason that uh, these approaches uh, is that these approaches uh, require knowledge and experience with uh, mathematical statistics. In this lecture course, we will give an overview of both of them. One variable at the time approach and also we will dedicate the lecture on the experimental design. Based on common practice in, lit in the literature and our own experience, we recommend the following. Firstly, you should change parameters one by one in both directions from a nominal value. Changes of parameters should be realistic in the context of normal use of your method. Secondly, if you change something, do not stop here. Often parameters might be mutually unrelated or uncorrelated, but in some cases this is not hold. From, for example, change in mobile phase pH can decrease resolution between two adjectant peaks. Likewise, increase of mobile phase flow rate can also lead to a decrease of resolution. While separately any of these two changes can still lead to the loss of resolution, their occurrence together might lead to a peak overlap. Whether this is the case can often be determined by the educational inspection of the effects of the changes without additional experience experiments and nothing and noting possible problems 
Thirdly, effects from the change of parameters should be monitored. If necessary, graphical or statistical analyses of the effects should be done. And lastly, regarding the robustness test results, if necessary, measures to improve the performance of a method should be taken. This was an overview of the ways to evaluate robustness. Thank <laughs> you.